What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are playing some more standard here on twitch.tv slash franklinpoor or youtube.com slash franklinpoor. Did I ever think of my teeth? Feels like it. Is this it? Is this the deck? This looks like it. All right. Oh, yes. Journal. Killing it. Three Hinterland Harbors, one Temple of Mystery. Okay. Beautiful. And how many Woodland Cemeteries? Four. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right, sweet. So this is a... We got two Cavalier of Thorns, one Yarok, and three Nyssa. Uh, three Command of the Dread Horde. We have a Vraska and two Tamios here. A Risen Reef, which is fantastic. If you bring all f three Risen Reefs back, it like say you command the Dread Horde for three Risen Reefs, like, or is it like it's got to be like Valica, right, where they all see each other, so they all trigger three times. Uh, we could click export to MTGA, but uh, we already have it built, so there's no point to doing that. Whereas like, if we had no deck, we could have done that, but. Well, then we have uh, Hydroid Crassus, Leafkin, and Lana War Elves as uh, some ramp here. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. It's Sultai. I don't know what more you can ask for. Oh, well, let's let's put this Yarok in the front. Well, Arena's definitely doing a little bit of a lag here. Nope, not Tamio. How about Yarok? Done. And so I'm offering a simple prayer. Ah, uh, that's that's a sniper. This does seem like a good old time. You're correct. Uh, let's pay two life and let's play Lanawar Elfaruski. Next time we can go Cemetery into Leafkin and Lanawar Elf and then just hope we don't die to uh, infinite turns, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. If we hit a blue, it's pretty good. Yeah, we don't need the blue yet. Might as well just play this guy and play Leafkin Druid. They don't have any way to sweep the board. And next turn we can go, at, at the very least, we can go Vraska and get rid of the Search for Escanta, which is great. You starting up some Christmas and July shenanigans? Maybe. What do you know? You don't know about my life. You're not my, you're not my Christmas dad. Hmm. Definitely don't want to cast that guy. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't actually care about that because next turn we're going to have a decent Hydroid Crassus already. Got him. Ha! <laughs> they just naturally concede. Yeah, they're like, well, if you kill my search for Ezkanta, I guess I'm just dead. Seems good. All right, we're going to take out Cast Downs. We're going to take out Disfigure. We are going to take out uh, probably one Assassin's Trophy. We're going to bring in two Negates, two Duresses. Probably take out a Healer for a Duress. Good, 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 good. Everything else is pretty good.
And so I'm offering a simple phrase. Is it phrase or praise? I don't know, man. Yuletide Mike B's getting sung by a choir. Gabby is streaming banned. What does that even mean? Oh, tears. What are you even saying right now? Pay two life. This banned. What is this? I'm banned? Oh, are you banned from both of those channels? No way, dude. No way, dude. For months? <laughs> we have a good time. Uh, let's get rid of your Nissa. That's a good card. So we know you have three lands and a Veil of Summer? That's something. Ooh, do we just Tamiyo here? That seems good. Tamiyo, Tamiyo. I'm basically bridge from low. That's insane, dude. I mean, it definitely probably is too many, uh, too many hungry Howie spams. Uh, put on top. Yeah. All right. I'm surprised they didn't Veil of Summer though, just draw a card. Wait, what? Did they just play it? Wait, what? <laughs> that doesn't do what you think it does. Oh, goodness gracious. There's like, I'll main phase Veil of Summer. Uh, I'll put it in the graveyard. Pizza or chicken wings for dinner? Pizza. Are pizza wings? Yeah, they're uh, they're wings, and then you bread them in cheese. Now well, we have nothing to play here, so we're just gonna. Oh uh, yeah, that's good. We can play that next turn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's a little Danto Vanguard. Oh, it's a little the Don too. A Donny Don, a Donny McDon too. I guess we'll just play Tamio here. What do we want to hit? What are we looking for here? What would be just fantastic? How about a disfigure? I oh, know we only have one. How about? Well, we're not gonna do massacre girl now. How about Risen Reef? That seems great. I'll take a Risen Reef. Well, we didn't hit a Risen Reef. That's sad. Pepperoni pizza baked wings? Oh dear god. Oh Jesus. I bestow a mighty curse. My god. You're making it difficult to work. Oh, that's pretty sweet. We need a second black source though. Hmm. I think we want to hit that disfigure. It's only a one of, but I know, I know. biscuits. Oh, uh, let's 
go for Hinterland Harbor here. Now they can play any creature. Lightning Helix this guy. Kill our Tamiyo. Then we're losing land, Tamiyo. I asked her once what her favorite flavor of crust was just once and she banned That's insane. These guys have no chill, man. I'm pretty sure the magic the, the sense of humor that is present in magic players is not it's not good. Okay, now we're talking. This is is this command the Dreadhorde territory? What are we at? What's our life total? 18? That's a lot. So we can go Cavalier. I guess it's permanence, right? So we can basically just do Cavalier and you have nothing in yours. So it's probably just Karasas for a million. So we're going to go uh, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, actually, hold on. I might do it for two less. Four, five, six, seven. I might just do it for five and kill the Soren. That seems better. How did he turn full control on? Because now we can play Llanowar Elf post-combat. And let's try to hit! I think you will find my notes helpful. What do we got here? Uh, let's go Risen Reef again. We actually haven't hit any Risen Reefs. Yep, literal nothing. But actually, that's pretty good. Because we can just command the Dread Horde next turn for a lot. Uh, that's a 6-4, good buddy. Yeah, I'll just jump here. This guy didn't have trample. Okay, so... We need double black for the Dready Horde. So we can actually... No, uh, we don't have a... Overrun Tomb would be great here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... I guess we actually doesn't matter. We don't. We just need double black. We don't need X black. So uh, we're gonna have to go black. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Uh, do we play land yet? No, I'll just play basic forest so we can keep as much mana up as possible. Uh, do I even care about Soren? Can you sack a vampire? Not really. Oh, the, the, the creature getting Death Touch and Lifelink. Um, let's see what we got first. We're going to go for Yarok. We're going to go for Cavalier for sure. That's 10. And 11, 12, 13. Yeah, because we just this is basically just free, right? Because we're going to gain 5 from Crassus. Plus this triggers twice. Yeah, that's pretty good, dude. Um, What is it? Oh, let me just win the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's gas. The gasoline. Ugh. Totally reasonable. Alright, so what are they playing? Vampires? Two moment of cravings. Take out one assassin's trophy. Take out one command the dread horde because it's pretty pricey. Maybe two. Uh, Take out... I don't love Tamio in this matchup. Massacre Girl seems great at clearing off the board. What are you guys saying right now? Oh, 
Oh yes, I literally said something about that. The uh, the 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 uh, what is it called? The band, the bandwagon. And the last episode, like in the last like two minutes of the video, it's like there's a really loud vacuuming going on, and no one was like, "Hey, let's pause the video, tell them to hold off for five minutes, and we'll just we'll we'll continue." It's like they just keeps going, and no one says anything. And, and again, yeah, and I was watching it, and I'm like, "Why aren't they showing the cards on the screen?" It was very strange. I was like, "What's going on with this video?" It's very weird because you can just. You could just be like, hold on, let me tell them to stop. And then they can cut that out and post. It's really not a hard edit. That's one of the easiest edits to make. I was just like, it, this is so weird. I mean, it's literally, even if it's like a 10 minute video, you could literally just do the video over again if you had to from the, from the beginning. Like... Yeah, I actually had to pause the video because I was like, is it raining outside? What's that noise? I had to like make sure it was actually coming from the from the uh <laughs> from the actual TV. I was like, what's going on right now? God, this Soren is so good, dude. It's so weird, like, if I was making a, a video, like, I would actually, and, like, someone starts vacuuming, vacuuming, like, five minutes into it, I would just be like, okay, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna tell them to stop, and then I will come back to the video. It just doesn't, I was like, this doesn't make any sense what's going on right now. It was just very strange. I was like, wow, it's still going. Like, there was a time where I was like, it was still watching the video, and I was like, it's still going. This is crazy. That's the thing. I think they just don't care because they're like, whatever, it's not hard. I mean, like, it's fine. This guy's friggin' huge. Jesus. We basically just have to play this, right? Oh, we're basically dead, right? They just attack with both, and then whichever we don't block, they sacrifice to Lightning Helix us, because this card's utterly insane. Put a land from among them on the battlefield and the rest in your graveyard. Sure. Yeah, this is rough. Yep. Brutal. I'm tapped out. You don't even have to do this. But I guess I could. It's fine. You put it on top of your library, it doesn't matter. Just kill me. Jesus. So good. Soren is so good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Channel Fireball to death. Those guys are wonderful to me, and uh, they're all great people. The problem is, like, once, I think, I think whenever it comes to, like, whenever it comes to these, like, off-the-cuff videos, I think they're too off-the-cuff, and, like, they just don't really 
like they could easily like just edit it and post and be like let's take this let's tell like it's a, it's a house you could just be like hey can you hold off on vacuuming for t or like why does this why is it even vacuum like why how don't how don't the people in the house know you're recording a video you know that's weird to me anyway it doesn't matter it's whatever Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that, actually. That seems fine. This probably would have been a better attack if I didn't if he didn't tap out first, but whatever. Oh, Masker Girl. Fascinating. Oh, Masker Girl seems unbeatable in this matchup. Kill your Vanguard, kill your knight. Yes, Josh, I definitely know what you mean. I put the focus on being entertaining uh, more so than I put the focus on playing flawless magic. Uh, so you have two mana, huh? Okay, we'll block here. I don't have any elementals that I'm going to be casting in the near future, so... Actually, I have this guy that can come down next turn as an elemental, so that's unfortunate. Could have done that. I guess it's fine. Uh, how old is your dog? Hunter is about 10 years old. Uh, he's not thirsty. It's just thundering out, so he's panting really heavily because he hates the thunder. Like, unreasonably so, and it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> really? Fascinating. Sack a vanguard to kill... You got it. Enjoy the Nissa. Look at this weird. Oh, wow, that thing's. That thing is weird. Just this guy, huh? So if you pump him, you're spending three mana, he will be a four. F no, he'd be five. Yep, yeah, no blocks. Hunt. Come on. No, Hunter. Come on, bud. There you go. Seems okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, this guy. And... Uh, which one do we want here? Probably just Drowned. Mm, no. Woodland. Uh, I'd love to attack you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have one card in hand, huh? Our blocks are pretty bad against you, though, so I really don't want to... It's five, six, seven, yeah, this is actually... So if they just play a guy, then their Sky Marcher gets flying. But we have Assassin's Trophy for it next turn. We also have... This guy has Reach, too, so... Because, you know, random, random green creature with Reach.
seems good. Um. So let that resolve. Six, seven. Who's in the front? I guess this guy's in the front. I have no idea. Probably like this, I guess. Let's see, kill the Yarok. So we're dealing five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, they can pump again. Let's see if they pump again. Oh, they didn't pump again. Fascinating. Oh, it has Death Touch. That's also very good. Well done. Well done. I didn't know it had that. That's really sad. That card's very good. The card's even better than I thought it was. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. I think it's just Nissa here. Gains death touch. You guys are so smart. Pretty good. Put a counter on that dude. That calls for your soul. So yikes for me, dog. Rise, my elemental friend. So we can attack with both. I don't think that really does anything great. Yeah, they could think of pump this guy. It's pretty bad. I guess it's no attacks. That's a big ass Soren. That is a big ass Soren. This guy's really strong now. Hydroid crashes one time. Come on. Yep, pump that dude. I mean, this is a situation where I'd rather just trade 3-3 three, three than, than Nissa. so... Plus, we get to activate and attack this guy, too. Oh, that's a good draw, dude. Um... Yeah, that seems great. Oh, we could also just kill the storm, but then this leaves this guy on board, so I'm not, not super thrilled about that. The land shall come for you. And now we can start sacking things to uh, to Vraska for some cards, which is nice. Yeah, Nissa's ult is find as many forests as you want, and your lands get indestructible, which is pretty sweet. Gold tier two. Gold. Can you update stream record? I want to steal your. Uh, no, I don't think so, buddy. Get wrecked. Got him. Got him. <laughs> What's it like getting wrecked so hard, Lance? After this, I'll throw it up so you can screen so you can screenshot it if you're still here. Well, this is not a hand we want. Send it back. Yeah, this is much better. I'll keep six. Command the Dreadhorde, you can go. Ideally, we're just going to be uh, 
building towards these risen reefs than dropping two of these guys. That's that's the dream, friendos. Like not like not to keep this rank going, but it just seems like a no-brainer that you hire non-magic player first people to make the content like you can actually like you include interviews and insights on magic pros but don't task them with the recording and editing. You're right, I agree with that completely. In my field if I ever submitted a deliverable that was terrible, that's so called it is those bandwagon videos. I would never get hired again. I just hate that they can shrug off because they're lovable pros and lol, who cares? I agree. I also, so one thing I've always thought was interesting as someone who writes magic articles um, was that if you do well in magic, then automatically you are qualified to write, to write, to be a writer, to be an article writer. And that's always very strange to me because I was like, but like, you don't necessarily, like, just because you won a tournament doesn't mean you're any good at writing whatsoever. Right, like, but it's automatically like, well, if you if you want an event here, please write us a tournament report. But I'm like, not everyone who plays Magic is a writer, so it's it's just really strange. I always thought that was a strange concept because we're like, hey, whenever someone would win an event, we'd be like, hey, let's go, let's see if they want to write a tournament report and talk about their event. And I'm just like, but the, you know, they, they could just be terrible writers. This is this is pretty insane. Oh boy. Well, we were hoping for a land here. Eh, might as well attack, I guess. Alright, well, this is the... Obviously blocking here and blocking here. Oh, because trample. Because <laughs> trample, that's cool. I thought I was going to survive, but because trample, guys. Guys, trample. Guys, they had trample. Did you see it? Did you see the trample, guys? I actually don't even think, like, any of these cards are very good against this dinosaur deck. I mean, Moment of Craving kills the 1-2, but that's literally, like, the only card in the deck that it deals with. Guys, trample. Did you see the trample? I really want to know that you saw the trample, guys. Ship an elf, ship a healer of the glade, I guess. Ooh, well, do it, make it so. Enters tapped. Look at that. That's just a. That's just a that's just a rampant growth. Well, 
All right, decent mold of five going on here. Oh, done. One, two. We do not have tomato mana yet. No attacks. End of the turn. Come on. Don't do anything crazy. Okay, that's just a little unclaimed territory. Being mediocre at budgeting doesn't equate to winning at life. Wow. Wow. But being a generous, supportive soul, that does equate to winning at life, good sir. Huh. Comes into play untapped anyway, so they would still be able to play Regisar. Like you do. Shoot him. Shooty tooties. Oh, Jesus, that's amazing. That's incredible. So we can go Tamiyo and then get a land, or get a get an Assassin's Trophy here. I guess we'll just go Nyssa. This is three elementals. This guy almost makes two, two mana. Uh, that is not, that is not. He's at work right now. Yep, yeah, that's a good card. This dinosaur deck seems like the real deal. Would you ever consider going to an MPL contract? What is an MPL contract? Going for one? I don't know how you'd go for, how do you go for one? <clears throat> Um, yes, seven, yeah, I know, no, I know what the Magic Pro League is, I didn't know what you meant by going for an MPL contract, I just don't know, I'm not sure how you mean, um, I guess this is fine, is this worse than this, this guy's gotta be worse, right? Uh, I mean, I just have no desire to do that. Like, that's that's far more exhausting than I'd be willing to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, let's do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six, seven, eight. right? 1, 2, 3, 4, five. Why are we... Are we missing a mana? Oh, this isn't a forest, so this only gave us one. So eight, sure. Seventy five K salary is kinda nice, but I mean like I, I think I'm pretty well off right now for for the amount of effort I put into the work I do. Uh that I don't really need to grind events every single week to try to hit top thirty two of like thousands upon thousands of magic players. Like that just seems utterly miserable. I actually feel pretty good right now. Well, pro blue we can't block, so. We will block this guy for sure. And then Nissa goes to two, theoretically. How rude. 
No, oh, cast down seems great on this guy. So what we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total mana. Tamiya getting back Hydroid Crassus here seems pretty nice. Oh, they have no cards in hand? Oh, this game's over. Yeah, that seems good. Also, Lance, feel free to screen cap the deck right here. This is the entire deck. There are four Woodland Cemeteries. Three Woodland Cemeteries? Four Woodland Cemeteries. And one temple and three hinterland harbors underneath the breeding pool. Have you ever considered stumbling into a suitcase full of millions of dollars and being set for the next 20 years? Yeah, actually, I was thinking about that, actually. Um, I feel like that would go well if I was ever able to do that. Yeah, I think that could that could work out really well. I, Moment of Craving is nice, but it only, like, it only kills the stupid hasty guy, but that's pretty good. I'm going to trust it. I'll keep it. Alright, so we could trophy turn two, and then we get to Risen Reef three. Yeah, that guy's probably worth killing. Let's go to Vraska, that's pretty good. We're just going to kill this guy now because it's unlikely they have another dinosaur to play this turn. And they can either take one of our planeswalkers. It's totally fine. We get to just drop a Risen Reef, which is pretty good. Nebraska was a good one. Solid choice. Well, I was hoping you wouldn't have a second one of those, but I guess here we are. Land. Oh, yes! That's the best, dude. That's the best, because now we can play Yarrick. Triggers Risen Reef twice, I believe? Yes. Oh, that's gas. Oh, that's really good, though. Well, that's actually fine. We take four, but like that's their turn, I guess. I think it'd be better for everyone if Frank just became a garbage man and went around picking up garbage dressed as a toxic adventure. I agree with you. I think that is definitely better for everyone involved. Oh, yes. Take action. Ender's tapped because it's going to do it anyway. Done. Oh, yes. No attacks. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just live stream my, my garbage collecting adventures. Oh, it's old Reggie. It's one of the Reggies. It's a lot of, a lot of Reggies, guys. A lot of Reginalds. I feel like there's going to be a lot of damage happening here. Just this guy, huh? Well, I don't want to block with either of these things, so I'll just take six. I'd rather get two triggers and six life next turn. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I'm going to vomit. Woo! <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, that's going to be nuts. Okay. This figure. All right. 
Yep, no lands yet. Can I get some lands here? Hand's getting a little fat, guys. Getting a bit of a fat hand here. Okay, that's that's fine. Oh, that's too many. Nope, where are my lands? Uh, take action, thank goodness. Okay, so I think Leafkin is probably better than Healer here. Because we kind of want to be able to play lands next turn. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh boy. Take action, enters tapped. Take action, enters tapped. Okay, we're doing it. Take action. Oh, thank goodness. We found some lands. Oh, Lord. Are we tapped out? Oh, we didn't play for Watery Grave yet. Okay. Enters tapped. Yep. Okay. So, no attacks. And I guess we can get rid of Disfigure, because that seems pretty bad here. And probably... Uh, you know? I don't even know. Land of War Elves, probably. Might want to block next turn? Yeah, yeah, probably. Probably. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, God. Yarok and two Risen Reefs, guys. It's not a real thing. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We're having a good time. This deck is fun. I don't... I want a second Yarok in here. My ear is just crackling and popping because it's not like, like you can hear it. It wants to be unclogged so badly, but it just can't do it. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. This is nice because we can play uh, Risen Reef and then play Healer afterwards. Um, enters tapped. Enters tapped. Actually, I might just play Woodland. Like, what do they got? Island here? That's interesting. I like that island art. You know what? I'll risk it. Double island. Two islands. Fascinating. Okay. I like that they show me. They're like, are you done? Are you done looking at this? Interesting. Is this mono blue tempo? There's no green yet, so it can't be the... I don't think it's the flash deck. Unless it just happens to have two islands. Why are there two different islands here? That's weird. Why would you... Why would you use the only... Don't use my only blue source. I don't know what I'm going to draw, man. Come on. Use your brain, healer of the glade. Oh, I'm game for that. Oh, now you want to counter it. Sure. I guess you couldn't counter it last turn. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I have no reason not to block this. A random card you draw in three damage is better than having a healer of the Glade on the board, so... Oh, that's fine with me. It's probably bad. They're going to spell pierce it. I should just cast down it. Yep. Oh, 
Well, they're on two lands, so. It is what it is. Oh my god, if, they, if we draw a land and they don't have another spell pierce. Oh, uh, I guess that's actually pretty good here. They can't spell pierce this guy, so I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna stick. Which is pretty nuts, though. Especially because Command the Dreadhorde getting back a uh, Risen Reef, Risen Reef. Uh, which do we want? We got a blue source, blue green, probably. Yeah, let's just get blue green. If we command the Dreadhorde and we get back Risen Reef, Risen Reef Healer, uh, what is that, six triggers? And we can also get Vraska back. That seems insane if they tap out for something. Oh, yeah, two cards, two cards, sure. They're not going to be able to... They're not going to be able to adapt to this guy anytime soon. I'll block. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, wow, that just resolved. One, two, three, four. Submit. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. We take eleven, but then we gain. Oh, I guess that we had to announce targets first. Well, good for you. This guy vigilance too? No. All right, no attacks then. Ah, oh, we got another one. At least it doesn't say as an additional cost. You got to pay the life because that would be that would be really sad. Oh god, I'm kicking things underneath me. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, which is better, actually? What do you got? Four cards in here. And this guy becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. When two things go... Two things go to the graveyard, so this would actually be what? <clears throat> oh, it's instant sorcery card. So what? It's going to stay four, five, six. Yeah, but all you need is one more. So, yeah, we'll just block this guy. We take one more damage, but I'd much rather get the potential of a 5-5 five, five flyer off the board, so... It's going to be a land that they finally need. Hmm? It was not. I'm going to assume that you do not have... We can get a Terramander back for one. Sure. That seems good. Oh, don't get Hydroid Crassus back, please. These will be my submits. Do you have a third Spell Pierce in your hand? You do not. Okay. Triggers all day. Take action. Let's scry. Uh, you can go on the bottom. I am not interested in drawing you. We have another healer of the glade in hand, but that's great. That's just beautiful. You don't have to show me every single card. They're going into my hand. Yep, that'll do. All right. <laughs> Two more triggers and another three life. Seems good. Seems good. This deck is gas. Risen Reef seems like such a good addition to Command the Dreadhorde. Like, unbelievably good. Um, I like Duress here. I don't really... I'll take an Assassin's Trophy. I'll take a one Command the Dreadhorde. I think Tamiyo's a little too slow for this matchup. Same thing with Nyssa. Moments are in. Duress can come in. One Massacre Girl seems good. Everything else seems fine. Like, we have a ton of removal, which is nice.
Remember that one time you, Mike, and Hunter went out to dinner and Hunter put Mike in the chokehold when he tried to grab his bread roll? Oh, man, I'm surprised you remember that. That was a while ago. That was good times, though. That was good stuff. Oh, yeah, I like Risen Reef. I think it's a good card. You know what? I'll pay two life here. And then I'll end my turn. And you're going to play a little floaty boy. And then I'm going to kill it. Oh, just an opt, huh? Well, alright then. Ooh, that's a good one. Yes, I almost always want to hit a land from this guy. It's great. Mm -hmm. And away we go. They always have curious though. Yep, never don't never don't have that. It's four of in the deck, but it might as well be a fifteen of in the deck because it's never I've never I've never played against this deck where they didn't have it, so it's it's pretty impressive. I'm impressed. But, yeah, what are you going to do? Eh, what are you going to do? What are they doing? Going to Vendillion click me? You got Vendillion click? I don't know what's going on here. Why are we stopped during my upkeep, it seems like. Oh, what do you got here? Spell Pierce, Aether Gust. Yeah, let's get rid of Spell Pierce. Eh, just kill this guy now. This guy's definitely scary, but, you know. I'd rather not even deal with it. So next turn they're going to have this guy and he's going to be a 5-4. We do have to find an answer for that. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, we get to look at a lot of things with these with these two boys. We got two, so nothing we can get. We can get a trickster. That doesn't seem exciting, right? Is this an Aether Gust? The most unimpressive Aether Gust ever. <laughs> oh, unsummon our unsummon this guy. Wow. Interesting. Yep, yep. Uh, always take action. Enter that thing tapped. Seems good. So they have Aether Gust in one other card. Okay.
Oh, uh, yep. Ender tapped. Sure. Uh, I guess we'll play this guy, and you can either guess this. Okay. Because now we can command the Dread Horde. And, uh, enter tapped. Darksteel Spork, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. To attackers. I'm tempted to just disfigure this guy to make it. Yeah, we're going to disfigure because we want to maximize the number of things we can hit with Command the Dread Horde. Because we're going to need five life for this guy. Ooh. Ooh. -y. literally just this guy. So yikes for me, dog. I mean, so we still get the triggers here, which is nice, but it's not great. One, two, three, four. We have five. And they can't... Yeah, they can't... Okay. Take action into attempt. This one. Uh, there is no, there's no dino in the, in the sideboard now. Yeah, if they, yeah, I think we're dead here. That'll do, pig. That'll do. At least I don't believe any of these guys have reach, so. Yeah, I think we're I think we're fine with this configuration. Um Um, I don't hmm. Veil's fine. I just don't know if it's like I'd rather just have removal. I'll keep this. I don't love it because the Atlanta Werewolf comes down on turn two, but still, they don't really have many answers for that. I mean, they can't stop it, is what I'm saying. There's been like 30 opportunities for you to screen cap the deck list in between matches, man. Like, please don't just spam the same request in the chat. <laughs> it's like, I mean, at least customize it a little bit so that I feel like you're not just like treating me like a fucking robot.
Josh, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Well, hmm. Well, that is the purpose of the stream. I don't. I'm not disagreeing with the purpose of Stream Decker. I'm not saying like that's not the point of it. No one's arguing that. I'm saying like if you're gonna have a request, at least mix it. Don't like just copy and paste it and spam the chat with it. Like, I mean, like especially when the the deck has shown up like four times during sideboarding, you, you could easily just screen capture it, like screen grab it, or like clip it, or go back to the you know back it up in the stream. Like, there's tons of options. But if also, like, if I, if I just haven't updated the stream deck, or I don't really feel like, uh, you know, taking the time to, like, find the deck list again. Because I don't have it. It's not like Magic Online where I can go to a different screen and and export the deck list and upload it to Stream Decker. So if, like, I'm, if I'm in the middle of the match, I don't have a way to efficiently get the deck. Because it's not on the screen. I can't export it when I'm in a match. Like, so it just doesn't make sense that... <clears throat> Well, what's more important? I think I think the Nissa is actually more important to resolve here. I mean, they're just gonna they're just gonna wizards wizards retort it. Yeah, well, that's fine, I guess. Well, that's fine. Whatever you want to do. Now they're gonna wizards retort. So. I'm gonna spell pierce your Nissa. Oh, I have all the. I have. Look at my counter spell suite. I have two lands, but I'm able to adequately respond to every card you play because my deck is all counter spells and a fucking two two. <laughs> good times. We're having a good time, guys. <laughs> it's nothing but, nothing but a gaggles of fun here on the uh, the mono blue train. Let's see if we can duress you. I mean, like, I don't even want to kill this because then they just have three and then they just play Tempest Gin, so it's like, eh. That seems worse than anything. Anything like it seems like it seems worse than anything this guy is presenting to us. But like, it's cra It is crazy that this deck is still like a thing, and it's like with with two two islands in play. Like we're just like, well, I can't, I can't deal with this nonsense. Um, yeah, we're just getting rid of the wizard's retort here. Let's just play a bunch of things here, I guess. You're going to Essence Capture this guy, maybe? No? Okay. Yeah, seem good. No attacks. Uh, we can actually chump block here with something. Probably Healer of the Glade. Um, and then we can command the Dread Horde. There's actually several decks. The the mono red deck, the mono blue deck, the Esper deck, and the uh, the the uh, the Nexus of a deck. For some reason, this format just doesn't seem fun to me. I don't know why. Like, it feels like there's a lot of decks that just deny you the ability to do anything. Like, like the the the, the Esper deck just feels like you get to a certain point in the game where you're just not doing anything against them. You're just literally doing nothing. Um, the Nexus of a deck, obviously, that's the case. You know, and then this deck, it's like, well, you know, I have to be able to beat a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I agree. Standard is a, is a bad... It, it does feel pretty bad. So, what can we do here? We know you have these two cards in hand, and we have... Cavalier actually seems great. So, 
So let's get healer and cavalier. So this is what, 5, 10, 11? So we'd go to 1, we'd gain 3, but we'd have a bunch of things on the board. Only one of which can block flyers and they can unsummon it, so we would take 2 at the very least. What do you have? You have 1, 2, 3. This would be 4, and then you have 5, 6, 7, so any land. So we actually can't get the Nissa, I don't think. I think that's too greedy. What? No, I did not want to... Oh my god, what? I literally went to unselect the Nissa, and it just literally gave me the Nissa. That's... Yep, that's pretty terrible. I guess we're dead now because of that. <laughs> yep, that's... That's amazing. Wow. Yep, now you unsummon the Cavalier, and we die to uh, Terramander. Oh, we didn't actually even activate the Nissa because I'm just, like, so tilted right now. Oh, um, we have an Overgrown Tomb, actually. We're okay, I think. Right? Uh, whenever you tap before, add an additional green. Put three counters. Overgrown Tomb. Okay, not dead. Not dead. Yeah, when you select everything on automatic layers, that seems terrible because, like, if you if you select everything and then reevaluate, like, it seems bad. And we just missed three points. So whatever. Yeah, okay. So I went to unselected thinking I selected it first. And uh, I apparently did not. So. However. Things seem to have worked out. Because. Pass two attackers. Oh, my turn. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that's terrible. How much mana do we have? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana? That's a lot. 12 mana? 13 mana? Jesus. My kingdom for this uh, this Hydroid Crassus that we, we milled. Guess we end the turn. Summer Breeze! Yeah, it's definitely... I definitely got the Summer Breeze stuck in my brain. I don't think it was right to trophy Terramander because it's not a threat right now. I'd much rather them adapt it and then trophy it. Like, they're still far. They still have to pay five mana for it at the very least. And, uh... Yeah, like, I mean, we knew the cards in their hand at the time as well, so it's not like it was... I mean, now they're... I think they're considering whether they're going to unsummon this or just let it die. Because if this is like a spell pierce or a, a dive down, I think they would snap it off. No, I mean, probably not spell pierce, but like if it's dive down, they just snap it off. Yep, yeah, that's what we were thinking they would do, which which is great for our cavalier here. Um. Way up high. 
So we're at four. We have to probably be careful of this guy evolving. So we still can't attack with this guy. But we can attack with everything else, I think, right? Mm, yeah, these guys have Vigilance. So... Seems fine. Yeah, this seems good. Right, but if they have another right, but if they have another unsummon, like we'd be dead anyway because they bounce this guy. Like, or they would attack us with this guy, right? Like, so I mean, it doesn't really change that. Like, that doesn't change anything. It just means they don't have the first bounce spell to get rid of this guy now. So. So they're all in on this guy right now. And I think if they don't have it, I think we just win. Awkwardly enough, they have uh, one, two, three, four spells. So if they do draw unsummon, they can unsummon. That puts it to five. They can pay the extra three and kill us. So unsummon for the win. But otherwise, they have two blockers. They block five and three. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because this isn't going to do it. And if they had an unsummon... So they have to have two creatures here. Uh, Crassus off the top for zero. Sure. Can't really do anything about that. Oh, I guess we could have tapped it. Ah, biscuits. That's sad. Oh, man. I'm so used to steel effects tapping the creature. Okay, so. Oh boy. How did you lose? Well, I literally drew only lands for the entire game. Yeah, if we just tap this, we actually probably win the game, right? Because they can't cast this. Um, and then we pl we have, they go block, they have one blocker at that point. So they take one, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, they would just be dead. Now they're blocking five and three. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They literally go to. Uh, Yeah, they literally go to one. Yeah, make them, make them have it, I guess. Make them figure it out. 4-4 four, four on 3-3, three, 1-1 three, one, one on 5-6, I guess. Yeah, the problem is we just died of the Tempest Gin. That's so dumb. Hey, look, they did it. And now they just get to kill us. Yep, seems good. I roll. Do one more, I think. Mulligan. Oh, keep. It seems fine. What's the record with this deck? X one or two? I don't even know. I wish there was a way to track that on MTG Arena, but there's you literally just have to count. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Keep six. We will ship. 
We'll ship forest for now. Oh, I guess we'll play this. Oh my god, I almost played Woodland Cemetery there. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Evan, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Okay. All right. Hmm. No attacks here. God Eternal Oketra. Fascinating. I'm going to kill this guy because we have Command the Dread Horde. And I kind of just like to put a Command the Dread Horde in the graveyard. Or uh, I'd kind of like to put, I'd kind of like to get a Risen Reef out of the graveyard, is what I meant to say. Temple of Mas Mystery. I was going to say Mastery, that doesn't, that's not how that works. Yeah, you can stay. I accept. Uh, let's say no attacks. I don't feel like dealing with the God Eternal Oketra. Oh, that's rude. You're being rude right now. You're going to hit this guy? Oh, yeah, that's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we had one more land, that'd be great. Because then we can Assassin's Trophy this and Command the Dread Horde. I guess we can go Nissa, Untap, Overgrown. Yeah, God Eternal Low Catcher is pretty bonkers. So you just have this guy, and we just have... I guess we have an elf. <laughs> Double block. Are you going to assign all your damage to just one? No. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And then you get... One, two, three, four, five. I think we can actually command the Dreadhorde here. We can play Nissa and command the Dreadhorde. That's a lot of things happening. Uh, no, please do not tap the forests. One, two, three, four, and five. Play Nyssa. <clears throat> okay, I don't like this. I think this is incorrect, right? Like, I should be able to add a green and a black, right? Because it says whenever you tap a forest for mana, add an additional green. Like, this seems broken, right? Because I should be able to add... I'm tapping a forest for black mana, and then I should be able to add an extra green. Uh, oh, I see. It does add green and black. The indicator is lying. Okay, that's good to know. And let's command the Horde of Dread, my graveyard. This guy, this guy, and this guy. Oh, done. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, take action, enter tapped. Take action. Done. 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 <laughs> 
This guy got haste. This guy have trample, vigilance, and nothing. That's it. Okay. Well. Well, I'd much rather keep a. I think we're good on on mana, so I'm just gonna block with these guys. Hit the black at a good black green. That's good to know. I appreciate you guys. Good looking out. So this is five mana, and we get to go trigger, 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 trigger. How much is Hydro Crassus? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yikes. That's a lot of things that are happening right now. Hmm. Okay, so I think we're going to Yarok. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We could also Vraska and kill that thing. I don't think we necessarily need. Oh boy. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh yeah, we're doing very well here. Okay, so. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Essentially 10 mana to work with here. So I'm pretty sure we can cast down. Uh, oh, can't we can't cast down that actually? Cancel that. I want to be able to. How do I deal with this stupid? I guess we're assassins trophying the uh, the god eternal Oketra, right? There's a lot of things happening here. I don't like that I only have one timeout. I'm actually pretty upset about it. Oh god. I also don't want to draw a million cards here because reasons. Oh god, we're gonna deck ourselves, guys. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, I don't want to cast anymore. I don't want to... I'm not having fun anymore. Okay, let's go kill this. I don't know why it's using my timeouts. Like, I'm playing spells. Like, that's what I hate. Like, if you're not doing anything for this amount of time, I, I understand. But, like, I'm actually doing things. Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know why you're asking me to resolve this. Like, I'm saying, that's yeah, fine, man. Whatever. Do what you gotta do. Get this guy out here. Play land. Probably. Eh, we can pay two life for it. Because now we actually have uh, enough mana to play this guy. Nope, that's not how we want. I guess that's actually still fine. Uh, no attacks here. How many cards do we have to discard down to? Uh, probably get rid of a Nissa. Wow, that's... Yikes. So you have a Crassus in your graveyard. We have a bunch of nonsense in ours, but I'm actually, I am kind of concerned about decking ourselves with the Risen Reefs. So, you know, that's a thing. Or with Hydroid Crassus, how do I not, how do I not just die here? I have to kill this. We can actually Tameo for... You would make an excellent informant for my study. 
This is yours. Uh, yeah, we can sacrifice yours. I guess that's. I guess that's fine. Let's get cast down back. The past is never forgotten. Kill this idiot. Um, I'd like to get rid of this guy as well. Do we have a way to do that? I don't think so. Okay, seems fine. Uh, take that action and attempt. Uh, I'll attack this guy, this guy, this guy, Yarok. And that seems like enough, right? Four attacks? Sure. Like, you can block a land. It's totally fine. I accept your, your land blockage. Take the action. Take the action! How many cards in our library? 20 now. You got it. This is where they overload the board. Riftjaw Raptor. Fascinating. What's the removal? Like, I haven't seen any removals. Maybe we just play Hydroid Crassus for, like, 15 and kill them? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't really want to draw seven cards, but maybe that's just the way it is. They took two? Oh, well, that's good. That's a good answer, too. You know, whoever. I guess they're going to bounce and miss it here. They did use a Prison Realm. I guess that's fair. Our dread horde looking not very great. Oh, they're bouncing a land. Don't worry, I got Fascinating. You. That's interesting. The land bestows opportunities for those who are worthy. We should have totally uh, totally tapped these beforehand. Um, enters tapped, enters tapped, enters tapped. I guess, it, oh, I'm not sure if it's gonna really matter, but. Destroy a permanent. Hmm, what do we got, 14 cards left? That's a good amount. Two, three, four. That's a yikes for me, dog. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're dead, guys. Uh, yeah, Angelin Harbor is fine. Jesus God. Oh Lord, we're dying. Oh Lord. Is there any way to deal with this? I don't think so. Oh, I'm so, oh, so awkward. I'm not sure the Cavalier was the right call either, but like, I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure here. There's some timers going. There's lots of things happening. I really wish we could get these jelly boys back and have them be decent here. All right, we just have to not draw cards. That's all. Uh, okay, so we're going to command the Dread Horde here. Let's, uh, my graveyard. Let's get a Nyssa, a Vraska, a Tamiyo, and a Land of War Elf, because these guys are just, these guys are just easy. 
submit. Uh, choose one to keep. I'll choose this one. And the five. I just kept them. Come on. Come on, man. Oh my god. Fuck this game, dude. <sighs> I mean, we're going to try to keep attacking with like a bunch of different creatures, but like, whatever, dude. That's so stupid. The timer system is so dumb, especially because we have our own timers. Like, I have my own timer for like 25 minutes or whatever. Like, why I have to deal with both timers. Like, why do I have two timers? Come on. Ugh. It's infuriating. Uh, I don't think Moment of Craving is great against them. Okay. Maybe Moment of Craving is actually pretty good. Kills, uh... Presuming... I, I have to imagine they have Land or Elves. Um... It's, it's a perfect for a game like Magic where you have a lot of things to do, but like you already have my, I already have my own timer. Like I'm clearly not monopolizing the time in the game because I have a timer. So like, I don't know, whatever. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Always good seeing you. And if you guys haven't done so, definitely be sure to check out CoolStuffInc.com this week. My article went up on Wednesday. It was about Golos in Legacy, and it was pretty sweet. I actually don't mind Jace Wild Wilder, Wilder of Mister Wielder, Wielder of Mysteries. Um, That actually seems like a really reasonable win con because you can actually get it back with uh, Command the Dreadhorde if it gets milled. Yeah, I feel like it's totally reasonable in this deck, actually. Like, the Triple Blue isn't even a, even a, um, a restriction here because you can just play him later than you might normally would. Might normally would. Later than you might normally would. I, I understand why the timer exists before they implemented the 25 minute timer on each person's side. You know what I mean? But like, if here, I'll show you guys. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this up. Like, look, if you click on, if you hover over our names, I have 21 minutes and they have 25 minutes, right? So I have my own timer here for 21 minutes. Why have I have a second timer where each of my turns are like before the, before this was implemented, this 21 and 25 minute timer, I understand why you had the rope system because it was the best way to do it. But now that this is here, like you have no way to really monopolize the turn because if you like, just do it like magic online where like, if you take 10 minutes, you don't, you, 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 you lose. Even though there's a runtime, you still have to play. The, yeah. But magic online has worked for years for 15 years with a, with a round timer where both players are able to play their turns at a reasonable pace just automatically pass the turn after after five minutes of inactivity and make them lose the game after 10 minutes of inactivity it's not a hard system to implement it's been used for years i don't think anyone would argue that magic online had, does not have a reasonable pace of play it's like having a shot clock and a game clock you need more up-tempo offense yeah i agree this deck does not have much up-tempo offense for sure Do you don't want someone to be able... No, but no one's going to hold the game for 25 minutes. Like I just said, in Magic Online, if you're inactive for 10 minutes, you lose the game. So, like, just don't... Just implement that. Hey. And they already do that, right? Like, this is what happens. Your timer starts going down. And if you time out twice, you lose the game or whatever. Right? So, like, it's the same thing. Yeah, there's definitely people on MTG that do that. No one said they don't. <laughs> like, no one said they don't do that. I'm just saying that it's not a, it's not a fucking, it's not a, it's not an epidemic, man. It's not happening nonstop. No one's like, my God, MTG is always unplayable. It's literally a very minimal part of any, anything. Like, it's not, it has no, it's, it's like, it's like inconsequential how infrequently that happens. 
Like, I just feel like if I'm actively doing things on my turn, please don't rush me because Magic is a complex game. There's a lot of things happening in a game of Magic. Like, every single turn. Like, there's a turn where I have to do, like, 30,000 things. It's like, it's just, it's, it's... If I'm playing a combo deck and then I start roping, I'm just like, well, I'm... But this is literally how my deck wins, you know? Like... And the only reason that it doesn't affect a deck like Nexus of Fate is because you're taking extra turns. Because your rope your rope time uh, resets every time you start a new turn. Right? So like if 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 the if the Nexus deck was a standard, like a regular normal combo deck, where all the action took place on a single turn, you would probably just rope to death. Oh, no blocks for sure. Hmm. Here we go again. Uh, no attacks. No Ataxian probes. If you know what I mean. You probably don't. Hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. What do you have? What do you got over there? One, two, three. You have seven mana? Seven manus? You counter this? No. Let's get rid of this incubation druid. Incubazione. Uh, I'll play you. Yeah, don't want that. And I guess we're just passing here. I'd like to keep Assassin's Trophy up. I think it's more important than playing a stray mana, uh, mana war elf. Mana war elf. So, anyway. Oh, that's good. That was a good game. Anyway, that's my rant on the timer system. But only because it just literally cost me the game. And I, I feel like I was playing at a reasonable pace. I feel like I was playing um, at an above average speed. But, uh... Okay, we saw Incubation Druid and Land of Elves and Risen Reef. So I'm going to actually bring in these. Take out one of this guy. Uh, take out one... Mana War Elf. Yeah, it's it's a three mana creature that uh, bounces a creature, and then when it enters the battlefield, you also get to, or it, you know, when it enters the battlefield, you bounce a guy, but then you can also tap for mana. So, uh, I'll take out one Nissa. I don't know if that's great, but Well, I just think I, I just think Arena in general has not had enough time uh, to figure out the optimal amount of time per turn, right? Because like I can't control how fast the triggers resolve. If you're going to show me like three different screens, like if if I play an elemental, the um, the Risen Reef trigger goes on the stack. I have to resolve that. The revealed card goes on the stack. I have to resolve that. It says done. I have to resolve that. If the land comes into play, I have to take action. It has to resolve. Like, there's just so many things that are, like, going on. And, like, I can't really control how fast the game is displaying them. So, like, I'm being penalized because every one action I take has four different screens that pop up. And I have to respond to all of them. It's just kind of... It's interesting. Not ideal. Oh, I'm going to keep this and hope that we get a... A land that lets these come into play untapped. Oh, my God. He's so good at Magic the Gathering. Oh my god. Okay. Was this a one-lander? It's not a one-lander. I was misled. Did you still have fangs? Ooh. Is 
See, because now I'm 19 minutes and then he's 22 minutes. Like, in no world have we taken any a ridiculous amount of time in these matches. Right, and I literally did that. I literally clicked through a phase before, and I was like, oh no, I was going too fast, apparently. I'm a rock and a roll, ain't a nice solution. Let's get a little reefy boy out there. My reefy boy is basically the same as your as your caresses. It's kind of funny. That guy's good. I guess you'll get a temple card. I just press spacebar until I what does spacebar do? I don't actually want to click it because I don't want it to do anything like Does it do anything? Is that even a thing or are you just are you just memeing right now? Oh yes. Take the action. Click it? Oh god. I don't want no, I don't want to. It moves the action. Oh, we just click next. So whatever this is, it, it confirms. Alright, I'll I'll do it on their turn. Okay, so they're attacking. I'll hit no blocks. Oh, look at that, it did. That's great. So it's basically like F2 or 2 back in Magic Online days. Yeah, this card's a pain in the ass. Don't have a Lana War Elf. Okay, we're good, we're good. Untapped. Wow, this one overgrown tomb is keeping our three Hinderland Harbors, our Woodland Cemetery, and our drowned catacombs afloat, which is just gas. Oh, uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So this guy's gonna trigger twice. Yeah, all right, that seems fine. Let's see what we get. Fashion will to the party, Nissa, as always. Uh, now we have four mana, so we can actually moment of craving you and kill you. What do you get back, though? Eh, we can just pass here. No attacks. I don't know how to permanently deal with God Eternal Oketra, or even temporarily deal with God Eternal Oketra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, guess we're, uh... Guess we're forced to respond. spell? I don't know what you could have here. I mean, they get to put whatever they want on top and then potentially draw it with Teferi if they wanted to. Hydroid Crassus is a good one. Sure. What, they choose Risen Reef? That's pretty cool. Interesting. I guess because they can cast it this turn, they can go bounce, like, our Risen Reef with Teferi, then cast their own Risen Reef, which triggers Oketra and draws them the card. That's actually pretty good. Seven mana. We can go one, two, three, four, five for Nissa. We'd have one, two, three, 
four, five. This guy could potentially make two, six. Why do they always tap the overgrown tomb? Come on, just, just stop it. Just stop it. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Nissa, which adds. This, I think this is right. I don't know. Oh, I roll. Yeah, I think we're just in it. I think we're just dead here. Oh man, if I had one more land, that would be great. No attacks. Yep, being at seven is pretty rough. Because both of these are lethal, so we have to block both of them. Negate. Come I'll on. Come on, negate. Welp. Block here, we take five, I guess. Go to two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually go this for eight and then play healer as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I still don't, yeah, I don't think that does anything actually. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get gain four life. No, we gain three life. We go to eight. We have a blocker for here, and a blocker for here, and a blocker for here. I guess we're not dead. Um, we're actually going to pay two and play Llanowar Elf here. Because if, it, if we're paying two to block a 4-4, four, four, then we're actually uh, coming out ahead there. This card's problematic. For sure. Yep, that'll do. Alright. Well, either way, this deck was pretty sweet. I think it does have problems against creatures like like three six legend legends i don't i don't know how you actually deal with that um i'm not sure what we could even do about that to be honest with you like there's as you can see from the the first game against that bant deck i just don't know how we punch through in those situations because you don't have much evasion other than hydroid crassus and it's not even something you can get back with command the dread horde really you'd have to use like one of the tamios um but, I mean, as far as removal goes, like, Assassin's Trophy is good, but it doesn't permanently deal with the God Eternal Catcher, but I'm not sure how big of a deal that is. Um, I'm not sure if I love the Veil of Summers, <clears throat> but Massacre Girl seems decent. Elder Spell seems good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'd change here, but the deck was actually pretty fun for sure. Um, so definitely be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. I do like Mass Manipulation. That was... <gasps> something i was considering um but four blue could be a little rough i think i think it's actually very doable but i do like jace actually jace seems like it could be fine and even if it's just like a like a one of in here over like one maybe command the dread horde or one nissa i think it's actually pretty good uh it, it would it would prevent those awkward situations because like you you do get in a situation where you have two risen reefs and the yarok in play you're just like you're going through so many cards um, and there could be board stalls where you're just like unable to actually break through. So either way, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at coolstuffinc.com. I had an article go up this past week about legacy uh, Golos. You can check that out uh, on coolstuffinc.com. If you use promo code Frank5, you'll get 5% off. And you can also check out manatraders.com uh, where you get 20% off the first uh, three months of any subscription if you use uh, the promo code and the link in the description. What is, what is that? What's going on here? 
it's like a right over it's really far i guess okay either way thank you guys for watching slam the like and subscribe buttons slam those follow and subscribe buttons on twitch and i'll see you guys i'll see you guys next time